In this video, I want to review the area of the area formula for a, for a rectangle, for a rectangle, parallelogram, parallelogram, and a trapezoid. And if you do not know how to find the area of a rectangle, parallelogram, or trapezoid, this is going to introduce you to how to find them. So that's exciting. Let's start with the rectangle since that's the easiest one, arguably. For the rectangle, let's think about the definition of area. Let's say, let's say the height is 2 and the width is 5. So we have 2 blocks where, when we're counting vertically, and we have 5 blocks when we're counting horizontally. And area is just how many blocks you can fit in. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Since we have 10 blocks, the area is 10, and we can also find this 10 by doing 2 times 5, or length times width, or height times width, however you want to think about 2. So that's how you find the area of a rectangle. Now let's go on, now let's go on to trapezoid. For trapezoid, oh no, not trapezoid, that's jumping a little bit too far. Let's start with parallelogram, parallelogram, and let's say it looks like this and you know this is 5, and let's say you know the vertical height is 2. Remember, this thing is not 2, we, we know the height is 2, so they are not the same thing. Okay, so we know the height is 2. Now what can we do? We can, we can think of removing this triangle, we can think about cutting this triangle out, if, I, if my pen starts to work, we can think about cutting this triangle out and moving it, moving it over to the other side, moving it over to the other side, like this. So as we can see, parallelogram, the area of a parallelogram is going to be same as the area of this rectangle, because we have the same amount of stuff. And what's, what's the height? Height is still 2, so the height is still 2. How about the length? Length is still 5, because this thing was 5, so this thing also has to be 5. If you if you're confused, think of it like this. Call this part star and this part circle. So this part is circle. For the five, five was circle plus star. So the, and we still have circle plus star. I, I, we still have star plus circle when after we move the triangle. So the le length still has to be five. So the area for the parallelogram is same. It's going to be five times two or ten, also known as length length times width, or you can make, oh, yeah, let's say height, to not get confused. Base times height is sometimes how we write it. So height times width, or base times height. Okay, so that's for the parallelogram. Now let's move on to, now let's move on to trapezoid. 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 So let's say it looks like, let's say it looks like this. What can we do with a trapezoid? We can flip this upside down and attach it over to the other side. And what do we have? We have a parallelogram, but how is that helping us? Let's say, let's say the height was h, and this one, we have two bases going on. Let's say the first base was base 1, and second base was base 2. So, and since we flipped and added it, this is base 2, and this is base 1. So what's the, what's the area of the entire parallelogram? We just learned it, the same as length times height, width times height, or base times height, however you want to think about the segment. So the, so the area of the parallelogram is the, the length, which is base 1 plus base 2, times the height. And since for the trapezoid, we're only looking at half, half, of, the, half of the parallelogram, the area is going to be base 1 plus base 2 times height, divided by 2. So let's say, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let's still keep the formula. Let's say we have a trapezoid. The height is 2. The base is 5 and 8. The area is going to be, the area is going to be 5 plus 8 times 2, two divided by 2. 2's cancel out, so we have 5 plus 8, or the area is 13. 